Dear Journal, Someone suggested I do a video on puzzle solving, but I'm not really good at it. I actually ask people to solve puzzles for me, and that's because I have come to a conclusion. Yes, I know it's the beginning of the video, but maybe you got something to do. My conclusion is that some of the puzzles, especially the ones that appear to be generated by the CIA, are just going to be out of my, I don't know, zone. They fall into the same group of caches that require scuba or tree climbing gear or focused faith in morality. I'm just not equipped for it. However, I do think I can teach myself to solve puzzles better. And I've already done some puzzle caches out there made for amateurs like myself. Oh, where are you going, man? I'm talking here. Ah. I ended up scratching the surface of a variety of things, not just ciphers and cryptology, just to find some geocaches. Exif data, HTML, reverse image searching, I didn't really do any of that before getting into caching. Word searches, crossword puzzles, brain teasers, all in the name of the glorious geocrack. I might not get them all right, but I try. What about all those caches relying on trivia that you end up just searching answers for on Google? Sports, astronomy, local history, geology, in fact, in general, between puzzles and mysteries and cache descriptions, virtuals, earth caches, the average cacher can become quite the Jeopardy contestant. My friend's child was doing his homework and he said out loud, what 1845 invention put cowboys out of business? Before he could even copy and paste this question into Google, I was all barbed wire, of course. He asked me how I knew. It was something I had to look up in order to finish a puzzle cache, so I told him. My dad was a cowboy. Eh, I didn't feel like explaining geocaching. So there's another checkbox on the list of how geocaching is pretty cool. My desire to suck down that sweet, sweet geocrack forced me to use my brain more to solve mild puzzles, sometimes successfully. What other hobby does that? Painting miniatures, soap carving, hmm, Sudoku, okay, I'll give you that one. Any road, or in this case, any repurposed runway. While at a hotel, I solved some puzzles from this very area. And, well, I say puzzle, but it was just some word searches, you know, like in fourth grade. But now I'm here to collect on them. Computer says 29 feet that way. Ah. <sighs> Hmm. Well, puzzle or no puzzle solved, that's marked for winner. Clue, it's low. So, hmm. Hmm, indeed. Low is where the ticks are. I sometimes get paranoid that the time between when I solve a puzzle and when I can actually get it is the best time for a cache to get broken or go missing or get archived. But the media has made me more paranoid about ticks this year, so, well, there we are. Now I know there are subreddits, forums, Facebook groups, Discord servers, meet and greets, and puzzle parties going on if one was inclined, but I feel stupid and socially insecure asking for help on puzzles when I know I won't be able to bring anything to the table except time draining for other people. My thanks, though, to those of you in the past that have helped me with puzzles either directly or through putting out low difficulty caches that allow me to, you know, touch the secret world of puzzle cachers. Do you have a puzzle folder? This meager pile represents the hard work, the blood, the sweat, and other bodily fluids best left unspoken. So I spread out the files here and made me think, mm, I should exploit this puppy the missus bought and get them cheap internet points. But I also thought maybe if I show you my folder, you'll show me yours? I'm sure some of you have folders or even boxes. Impressive ones, I bet. Impress us all by taking a photo or video and post it somewhere or send it to me. Remember, spread everything out nice and big and don't be afraid to zoom in on your work and your answers, particularly if you're in the Philadelphia and surrounding region. The person with the biggest pile gets first prize, which is constant nagging for me to help me solve five-star puzzles. I joke, partially, but I am curious. What are your resources? When you encounter a puzzle, what is your modus operandi? Books you reference, people you talk to, videos you watch, things like that, so that I myself may teach others to fish for me. Who's a good boy? 